Okay, so my name is Torsten Kroger. Um, I'm a research associate at Stanford University and um, right now in the Stanford AI lab. And this project here, which you can see in the background, is called the JediBot project, which was originally a class project um, of the CS25A class, which is experimental robotics at Stanford University, done by four students who did a great job. And after some improvement, we made it to IROS to present our project here. So what you can see basically is the KUKA Lightweight Arm, which has been developed at um, the DLR Research Institute in Germany. Um, we use a Microsoft Connect sensor um, to grab 3D data, basically what we get is, a, is a, an entire point cloud in 3D space and we use the point cloud library to detect sorts of a, of a human. So this is the blue sort and as you can see um, the robot is kind of seeing what I'm doing here and trying to react and defend itself. And in order to have these high speed motions and these high um, reactions, um, we use the reflexes motion libraries which um, contain an online trajectory generation algorithm that is able to generate a motion of, of a robot within one millisecond um, such that the robot can instantaneously react to unforeseen events. And this is very important in this case, so whenever you make contact, the robot has to react instantaneously to um, recoil this, the motion and um, what we did here is we just glued all these pieces together, that is the reflexes motion library, the connect, the point cloud library, we used the, the KUKA controller with the, with the FRI interface, the fast research interface, which is an interface that is designed for research groups, which is very open, such that research groups are able to um, create their own robot control architectures and strategies um, to do very nice things with the robot. How many people has this killed? How many people have this killed? Oh, we have been asked whether this is a Jedi or a Seth. Um, and so we say it's a Jedi, so it's a good thing. Um, so it does never kill people. And it's a safe robot, of course. Any plans to uh, sell this as a standalone personal defense oh, robot? Oh, no. no, this is not that. This is kind of, you know, a student project. and. The main reason, of course, is to have fun. And so we are already happy that we have some outcome um, of this project and that this is kind of a way to show how you can um, show the potential of using latest technologies such, that, such as the, the light rate arm, the reflexes motion libraries, the point cloud library, the Kinect sensor. Just doing all these pieces together is not very hard. Um, and um, does not take so much effort. Basically, it's just a, a software race um, that we are in here. And when you glue these pieces together, this is what, um, what could come, come out of there.